Hey guys, you see here. So uh, one of the questions that we get asked a lot is that based on the morning charts and the setups uh, that we post, uh, how do we how do we decide when to go long at a particular level, or what should we be looking for or considering uh, in the price action itself to decide whether this level is holding or if the price is getting rejected from some 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 level or if it's a breakout right so i think the, the best way to go about uh, showing all of this information is is through an exam uh, example and then we can kind of dig through it and then you can get some idea on on how do we how do we do that right so let's take a look at an example from february 13th uh, let's go and take a look at the Tesla chart, right? The one that was shared in the morning. So we'll go through a few examples of these. Tesla being one of the active ones that we trade. So as is a good example, right? So right here it says Tesla in weakness below 206 level. So preference remains to short on strength as long as the price remains below that, right? Below 190 is support from where we can see a bit of a bounce, right? And here is the chart uh, from the morning. The price was a little bit strong trading towards 198 i think right but by the time the price opened i think price was like around 195 194 maybe so anyways or maybe even below 193 so we are saying anything below 190 we will will try for a bounce trade or if it goes towards 205 206 because that's where the resistance is we'll, we can try short from there right so that's the plan but you can also play out in any other way right uh, depending on if it's a price is breaking out or, or not or whatever so anyways now let's get into a two minute time frame and see what happened right so here is here is the morning so you can see this is a two minute chart right so we opened up around 195 the price quickly dropped to 190.4 so remember so this this is this level is updated for the next day so ignore that uh we'll still treat this one for our example that you know we're looking for price to go below 190 and then that's where we want to trade the bounce from so we're waiting let's see what happens in the next bar right now the price is below 190 right so now it just depends on your level of risk uh how you trade i basically like to trade on a first touch or at least at one minute two minute three minute bars closing with giving me some sort of a bullish bar some sort of a, a bottom wick at a level that i want to about uh, trade the bounce from right uh, or you can just say hey whenever the price go gets below 190 you can put a conditional order if the price goes below 190 get me into 190 c right but if you don't like doing that because you think the price can go down you like to see some sort of price action so okay and see we got a next two minute bar where the price is holding right you can either put a buy order right around the bottom end of this two minute bar right around 188.9 or below 189 uh, or you can just say okay i'm going to try to see if the price breaks above that and then i'm going to get in right i personally usually uh put the price uh like to get in it uh, long towards the bottom end of this bullish bar that's how i trade but again uh, you don't have to so it's just you can just trade how you like right so if if you want to wait for that so now we're waiting for the price to get back and give me some sort of a double bottom right you can do that too so here you go so now you got this price getting under or touching the previous uh low here that it recently formed and you again you did not see any downside follow through as a you know that that, that would have meant that the price wants to break down further so it's a good risk and reward to get long here right for a bounce play and the price kind of moved sideways a little bit and then eventually moved towards 195 right towards uh, the high of the day so that's where you should be taking profit right that's a good sick five dollar bounce five six dollars bounce from there so depending on which call you got 190 c would have moved nice 195 c would have moved nice in the money calls would have moved very nice because of the higher delta so that's thought of the price action let's say if you want to look at the five minute bar if you don't like uh uh if you don't like the two minute bar so if you look at the five minute bar look, let's see if it gives us any 
uh, any other clue, right? Five minute bars gave us clues in, uh, in the shape of bottom wicks, right? So what happens is, uh, again, I like to buy towards the low end of the bottom wick where when I see one, right? So this is where I would have liked to kind of establish the entry below 190. That's where we're seeing all the bottom wicks from. You can see even in the five minute time frame, you're not you're not seeing any downside follow through below 190, right? You're seeing more of the bottom wicks, price holding, and then eventually it kind of moved back up towards 196, right? So that's sort of the price action. Let's take a look at some another example. Okay, another example. Let's take a look at Netflix. It said weak intraday below 351, right? So that means as long as price is below 351, preference is to look for a short and if it gets above 351 that means it's also getting above the downtrend line so that means it would be getting strong so you should not be looking if to play on the short side if the price is going above 351 so let's get to see what was going on let's go to netflix okay so this was the chart right it opened up pretty weak below 351 right it fell through the cracks and all the way down till 344 with a quick bounce back above the pre-market high so that meant the price is getting strong nice five minute bars consolidations no downside follow through to any red bar so you know in the five minute time frame and exactly once it got above 351 right it started seeing some downside pressure here in the five minute bars but you can see it was holding this 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 level around 351.3 and eventually it kind of broke higher with the five minute bar closing nicely above that level all the way till 353 and then it kept on moving for the next five minutes uh all throughout the day towards its next resistance level of 353 356.6 and 359 all these are a little bit updated as per uh, uh the day but you get the idea right above 351 you should not be looking to short you should be looking to buy on the pullback right so intraday pullbacks could have been a mini flag right here you could see once this resistance area is broken you can see how it became intraday support so things of that nature you should be looking for intraday support intraday resistance levels uh, because there are overnight levels from the day before right and then there are levels that are formed during the day as the price unfolds so so those are more accurate right so if they align with the ones that were that were on the chart from the night before that's even better right that's even more sort uh, of con uh, uh, convincing uh, or with conviction that, that the price is holding and it's looking nice let's take a look at one more example let's take a look at microsoft right well uh from the higher low so far see if it can take out the downtrend line right or get rejected from there 264 plus keeps it in overall strength so we were looking for the price to get above the downtrend line here uh and above 264 uh as long as it was above 264 it was it was strength right only if it had gone below 264 we would have played the puts so now let's go see what happened in microsoft okay here you go so microsoft opened strong uh above 264 nice gap up and the first five minute bar you can see a nice bullish bar that closed above the downtrend line right so the morning notes were that we want to see a breakout above this downtrend line to try or get into calls right so this would have been a breakout trade and if you don't like getting into breakout trades because they can fail then you can look for some sort of an intraday pullback right uh i do remember that i traded this intraday pullback around 260 271.4 271 so this was an intraday level and we played the quick little bounce from like almost a dollar bounce right so calls maybe move 10 15 percent uh i scalped shares as well so that was nice but the chart was strong so that means you should be looking for pullback so you could have gotten this intraday pullback right here in the short in the and uh, the form of a uh intraday uh, bull flag right strong chart nicely uh, and then the five minute chart shows consolidation five minute bearish bars uh don't see any downside follow through it's holding the structure and then it breaks out further to give a nice follow through all the way to 274.7 so 
So that's how you read the morning notes, the morning charts, and then, you know, look for price action that confirms with that, uh, uh, you know, analysis. And then you play like that, right? Uh, so those were the three examples. So I think what, what you need to uh, be uh, give importance is uh, to price action itself, the read of the price action, right? Uh, like are the five minute bars overlapping or not? Uh, are the downside moves getting any follow through? Uh, uh, what is the what is the momentum? Are there more bottom wicks or, 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 or top wicks, right? Once the particular level is played out, is is that level acting as a support now, right? So those kind of things, uh, uh, you should be kind of analyzing in real time uh, to kind of uh, trade, right? I'll try to come up with more videos like this uh, to help you guys uh, kind of learn price action and just kind of be able to quickly analyze the price itself as it's playing out, and then more importantly, uh, to be able to read the morning charts the morning trading setups uh, and kind of make sense of them so that you can uh, you can utilize them in a better way uh, during your uh, trades okay hope you guys like this little video if you have any questions comments uh, please let us know thank you